So in addition to the mean, uh, another measure of center is called the median. And we'll get to the actual question here in a second. Uh, so the median is the middle value from a set of data. Uh, and so, for example, it, sorry, middle value in order. So if we list our data in order, the median will be the middle value. So if my data was 1, 3, uh, 7, uh, 10, 15, the middle value would be 7. 7 would be the median of that data. If my data was 1, 3, 7, 8, 10, 15, notice now the middle, uh, is right between two values. Uh, and so when that happens, we find the mean, uh, of those two values. In other words, we add them up and divide by 2, uh, and we get 7.5 as the median. So if we have an odd number of data, then it, the median will be fairly easy to find. It will be in the middle. Uh, and if we have an even number, number of data, then we're going to need to split the difference. Now, the way that we can find where the median is, is using something called a locator. Uh, and so we're going to take the number of data. In this case, we had five pieces of data. And we're going to divide it in half. So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. Now, if this number comes out to, uh, be a, not a whole number, which will happen whenever we have an odd number of data, then we go up to the next whole number up. So it's going to be the third piece of data. Third piece of data, right? So in our order, one, two, three, third piece of data. In this case, uh, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so this already is a whole number. Uh, when that happens, then we then we find the mean of, in this case, the third and fourth. So we start at the third value. Uh, so we find the mean of the thir third and fourth pieces of data. But for small sets of data, you can use this visual approach, which usually works pretty well. So here we have a set of data. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pieces of data. So we get we use the letter n to represent the number of data. And so this is the even case, right? So I can say 10 divided by 2 is 5. And so we're going to need the mean of the fifth and sixth data values here. But most importantly, we first need to put our data in order from uh, smallest to biggest. Uh, or biggest to smallest, doesn't really matter, but uh, I'm going to go small to big here. So we got 2, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 10. Let me double check. I got everything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pieces of data. Good. And, and really, you can see that this point here splits the data in half. Uh, this is the 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth piece of data. So the fifth and the sixth piece of data here, we need to find the mean of. 6 plus 7 divided by 2 is 6.5. And is, so that is our median of this, of this data. So let's look at another example. So here is a set of, uh, touchdown passes. And this time, they've been arranged in order for us, which is awfully nice. Uh, and so notice there are 31 pieces of data. If I divide 31 by 2, I get 15.5, which is a decimal value. And so I go up to 16th. Uh, 16th data value, right? Because we have an odd number of data, we know that the median is going to be, uh, a single value. So now I can just find the 16th piece of data, because it's already listed in order. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So my median is 20.